I think what we've noticed over the last few years is that in the past, economic openness, openness to ideas, to trade, to innovation, was taken as a bit of a no-brainer. But probably since the financial crash and in the last three, four years, those ideas have been really challenged around the world, whether you look at the Brexit vote, Trump, Gilets jaunes, even national governments' reactions, one could look at the days in Hungary, one could even look at some of the uh, sort of more nationalistic approaches in other parts of this world <coughs> and say, the question is, is economics open to the right approach? Is that sharing of ideas, that sharing of trade, really the most dynamic uh, approach to building an economy? And we think it is. And we think it's worth putting back on the, on the table a lot of these issues. But rather than do it in an argumentative way, we wanted to lay out the facts as we see them across the world using international benchmarks. And what we've done is we've taken the World Bank, the IMF, the World Economic Forum, and many other international organizations who produce measures, surveys, um, accounts, etc., and in effect curated them and said, you know, we're not going to put forward our personal view about what's going on, but we're going to take a very widespread view from around the world, bring it together, curate it, put it in a structured form so that then we can say, this is what we're seeing. In effect, hold a mirror up to countries and allow people then judge on the basis of what a whole series of well-respected organizations are saying, what they need to do. I think for us, within Central Eastern Europe, Romania is, is one of those countries that is you know, large, good domestic market, you know, fascinating history, a really interesting challenge though over the last 30 years, and it's probably sort of hinting at this. I, I first came to this country in 1986, and you know, when I look over the last 30, 30 odd years, I have seen tremendous change, enormous, phenomenal progress, and yet talking to people, doing some research and surveying the views of Romanians, I see now that the the shift of the younger generation is to a more relative perspective. How are we doing versus the, the Poles, the Czechs, Hungarians, etc., as opposed to how far have we come? I think both of those two perspectives are, are really important. So let's then take stock of Romania. Where, where is it? What does its economic openness look like? How has it progressed? So this is sort of a 10 year trajectory, and I'll, you'll see how all of this comes together in the report lays it all out for you. But you know, if we go back to 2009, Romania would have been sitting at 45th in the world for its economic openness. Took a bit of a decline to 2012, declined to 52nd, and has now come back up to 47. So a very good, you know, good last five, six years, albeit off the back of the decline, net down two ranks in the world because many other countries in this or peer group have been growing slightly, slightly faster. So I think the first thing I'd like to say is that there is a good trajectory. I think the challenge is, is that trajectory fast enough versus aspirations? Uh, so great to see every year things are steadily getting better, but are they getting better fast enough? And where, as we go through this morning, where are the blockages that can allow the next step change to happen?